leaving one of our ports, a transport carrying New Zealanders heads north. Destination unknown. Everyone soon settles down to shipboard life. Light-hearted, they enjoy a song in the sun, and there are always letters home to be written. Ahead lies a mighty task. To all of them, it's a great adventure. Emergency stations. Boat drill is an important part of routine life on board ship at any time. It's more important still on this voyage. In an emergency, discipline is essential. There's a place for everyone, and everyone must be in his place. These lads already know the importance of discipline. Gift parcels sent by the National Patriotic Fund Board are distributed. Cigarettes, chocolate, comforts from home that show we are not forgetting them. Every man gets his share. Their pleasure is our reward. It's one way we can all do something to help. Drafts and darts will soon be in full swing. And less exciting game. A hand of cards is a pleasant break from more active pastimes, such as boxing. A sport that's natural to these husky fellows, and one which provides plenty of entertainment as well. It keeps the lads in fighting trim for the job that lies ahead. Courage, strength, and quick thinking will be needed. This is one way of warming up. The Maoris have their own way. It expresses that spirit of defiance which Maori and Pākehā alike possess. Sea air, sport, and sunshine make healthy appetites that are fully satisfied in the mess. Patients on the hospital deck get special care and attention from the nurses. The nurses look after their own fitness with regular exercise. Their work calls for courage, skill and endurance. Behind them is a tradition that is a shining page in our history. In the confined space on shipboard, games and sports are a means of keeping fit, a habit well formed in all New Zealanders. It's a necessary precaution, too, for a task that is much more strenuous than the daily business of peacetime living. But the spirit shown in these games is the same spirit that's called for today in our work, whether it's in the front line or at home. This trip is no pleasure cruise. The lookout man is a reminder of the real purpose of a voyage which is slowly coming to an end. The tropic sun beats down as the last letters from shipboard are being written. Port is reached, a port somewhere in the Middle East. The long voyage is over. They've come halfway round the world. These units of the New Zealand Army, our army, will soon be on the march again, swinging across the desert to join other New Zealanders. They'll fight side by side with Australians, South Africans, Canadians, men from Britain and from India, Czechs, Poles and Free French. They've come to defend their land and to fight for the right to live as free men. For the time being, They've said farewell to their homes, their people, their wives and children. They've given up their work and their careers. These are the men of the New Zealand Army in the Middle East. <laughs>